Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for Choices of Stories You Play, Freshman, Book 1, Chapter 9, Sorority Ball, Part 1. The morning after your sorority sleepover, you head to Professor Vasquez's office to update him on your progress. Good morning, Professor Vasquez. Hmm? Oh, yes. Good morning. You notice the empty waste paper basket in the corner of the room, and wonder where the professor's letter to his daughter went out with the trash. Everything okay? You're looking a little down. What? How is this? This is how I always look. I guess I can't argue with that. Now, do you have an update on the task I sent you? Or did you just come here to irritate me? Well, on the final challenge, I just have to find an upperclassman to take me on the sorority ball this evening. And what do you want from me? Boy advice? Oh, I actually want my Vasquez's advice. No, I... well, it's a bit awkward. Becca and Madison said that I have to bring James. They were very adamant about it. Really? I have to say, I didn't see this twist coming. Maybe I should hire Beck and Madison as story consultants for my novel. Professor? Sorry, sorry. Regarding James, well, how do you feel about him? Is there something there? I'd say there's... Nothing between us. We're just co-workers. Nothing between us. That's any of your damn business! Um, we're just co-workers. In this version, at least. Really? That's too bad. Just then the door opens and James walks in. He stops short when he sees you and Vasquez staring at him. Uh, everything okay in here? Good morning, James. Do you have a nice suit in your closet? Yes. Good! You're taking Mazumi to the sorority ball at Kappa Psi Sigma house tonight. What? That's your reaction? Sorry, I, I didn't mean... I was just caught off guard, that's all. I'd be happy to accompany you to this sorority ball. You would? Uh, I mean, thank you. I look forward to it. You can pick me up from my dorm around six. Uh, great. I will see you then. Back to sweet. You find Zack and Tyler in their usual spot in front of the television. Gaming controllers clutched in their hands. Careful, Mizumi! Caitlin's in full-on prep mode! Uh-huh. Is it that man? She asked her opinions on, like, 30 different dresses. And yes, they were all totally gorgeous, but I'm trying to focus on kicking Tyler's ass. Oh, you're kicking my ass? The score suggests otherwise, my friend. Suddenly, Caitlin strides out of the room and snaps her fingers at Tyler and Zach, glaring. What? What did we do wrong? Could you use your words, please? Up. <laughs> just what? The look and just up. <laughs> what? Jalen hauls Zach and Tyler off the couch and starts flipping over cushions. Looking for something? I lost my sparkly eyeshadow palette. Bad enough that I can't seem to find the right dress. Now my face is a total disaster, too. Let me see. Don't be silly. You look great. Yeah, you need that eyeshadow. You look gorgeous. I'm kind of starting to wish you were my date. I'm gonna go with that. You... you are? Mm, maybe a little. You're just saying that to make me feel better. But thank you. Why would your makeup be in the couch? Abby walks in the living room, looking stunning in a flattering dress. 
You all stared at her. Oh, Caitlin, you were looking for your eyeshadow? Damn, Abby! What? Why are you all looking at me like that? Cause you look hot, girl, duh! Aww, doesn't she look great, Tyler? Look, she's blushing. Doesn't she look great, Tyler? Mizumi! You... you... you r really do look amazing, Abby. Really? Really? Oh, well, thanks, Tyler. I anyway, here's your eyeshadow palette, Caitlin. It dropped under the cabinet in the bathroom? Sorry, I should have mentioned it before. No worries. I'm glad to have it back. Now, if only I could find the right dress. But let's focus on Mizumi. What are you wearing to the dance? Hmm. I haven't really thought about it. Are you kidding me? Picking the right dress is everything. No, it's not. With the right dress, your crush drool will drool over you, and your enemies will be insanely jealous. I guess I'd better choose wisely. Don't worry, it'll be according to what Pixelberry's dime enjoys us. Avis. Okay, so. Not gonna lie. I mean, for those who are very. I mean, I have to do the diamond editions, even though I wish I didn't have to do the diamond outfits, because to me they're. Especially in this, if it was Crown of the Flame, I would do it. But this is just so dur. Um. Don't get me wrong, I wish this outfit was on black, and then the, the, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> I like that one, I like the sparkly, it looks like the Cosmos is, and, Bale. and then again, I like her, her little black dress. The black dress is actually fantastic, but, um, oh, you're killing me here. I like, like, uh, little things that go along the neck. Because I'm a little neck person, but then also revealing the neck, but then also having the shoulders revealed. That's nice, too. But then, when it comes to my more modest casual say, you know what, just grab it. There you go. <laughs> just pick a dress, damn it! You're becoming a woman! Sorority score? What the hell? i never seen that. I guess Diamond Edition really does give you something. You walk back out of your room wearing a sparkling midnight blue dress with an illusion neckline. Careful, Mizumi. You go out looking like that and someone's gonna fall in love with you. You could say that again. Too much? No way! James is gonna be psyched when he sees you like that. Yeah. Definitely. Aw, Caitlin's jealous. Did you decide what you're gonna wear yet, Caitlin? Hmm. Let me think. Oh, I've got it! Why don't you find an outfit that kind of matches Mizumi's? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Caitlin rushes into her room and comes back a few minutes later wearing a beautiful red dress with a gold neckline. She spins for you and your friends, grinning. Well, what do you think? It's perfect, right? Right? It's not bad. Revealing neckline. Shoulders. However, I'm not... Uh, I don't know. I at least, like... <sighs> okay, moving on. It's tough for me. Yes, yes, it's perfect. The best one yet. You wouldn't go this far, screw you. Better late than never. Do you like this one, Mizumi? Let me see. You look amazing. It's definitely you. Mmm. 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 I don't know what you pick. It's definitely you, which would be a huge compliment saying it compliments you well. It's definitely you. It's amazing. You look amazing. I'm gonna go with look you look amazing. Caitlin smiles even wider and pulls you into a tight hug. 
you're amazing. And thus the crush was bonded. I know. Just then the doorbell rings and the door to your suite swings open. Did someone order too handsome? Oh. Are we interrupting? Caitlin pulls away from you as Darren limps in the door. James <laughs> right behind him. Nope, not interrupting anything. How are you? Can't complain, especially when my date looks as good as you do. Looks like this guy's got moves on and off the field. Oh my god, Zach. Sorry we barged in here like this. James told me to wait, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, I did tell you that, buddy. James walks over to you, his hands in his pockets. You catch him glancing at your dress, his eyes lingering. Just a little too long. Mizumi, you you look really nice. Really. Nice, huh? Really charming, James. James flushes. Well, I... We're both doing this for Vasquez, remember? It's not like... Uh, n never mind. I did remember that, actually. But I appreciate the reminder. I mean it. So it's gonna be like that, huh? I can tell this is gonna be a long night. Only if you play your cards right, buddy. Zack, a cool one with the color commentary. Where's your date, Abby? Darren, I thought Logan was going to come. Yeah, about that. He ate like 70 eggs yesterday, and he's still sick. Why did he eat 70 eggs exactly? Gains? That's all he said. Maybe I could be your date. I mean, I I'm not really doing anything, uh... Except hanging out with your best bud, Zack! Zack, shut the up, man! Really, dude? You just, you don't think before you speak, do you? Just kidding. You two should totally go together. Oh. Caitlin, now you're the downer. They can't. She needs to bring an upperclassman? Ugh, this is so annoying. Well, don't worry about it, Abby. Just stick with us. Well, I don't want to be a third wheel or anything. You won't be. Yeah, no worries. If anyone asks, we'll say your date was just went to get drinks or something. Or, or, she could technically date James while I third wheel James and act like I'm dating him, and then James and Abby could hook up for at least this night. How about that? Wink, wink, that's not... Really? Yeah, why not? I don't know, I could see James and Abby together. I like this guy, Mizumi. Nice catch. Yeah, he's alright, I guess. Just alright. I guess I should have expected that. Hey, I didn't get all dressed up just to watch you two flirt. Let's go! After a short walk through the campus, the five of you stand outside Kappa Psi Sigma, house in the soft light of the dusk. Darren offers Caitlin his arm. Oh, thank you. Let's see if anyone's home. Darren walks up on the front door and raps sharply, his other arm firmly linked with Caitlin's. Darren, so glad you could come make it to our little soiree, and you've brought Caitlin. I have to say, I wouldn't have guessed that you were her type. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing, of course. Come on, the dancing's just about to get started. Nothing for the rest of us, the other three of us, really. You all fall in after Darren and Caitlin, Becca leading a winding path through the throng of guests. So far, so good, Abby. Just keep a low profile, and you'll be golden. I hope you're right. 
Becca taps a fork to her glass to get everyone's attention as Madison queues up her romantic R&B playlist. Welcome to Kappa Psi Sigma's first official ball of the quarter. Darren, Caitlin, would you like to open the dance floor? Uh, we'd be happy to. Here, take my hat, Caitlin. Okay. Abby leans in close to you and James, while Darren leads Caitlin haltingly across the dance floor. Is it just me, or does Caitlin seem actively disinterested in Darren? Maybe we should get out of here, alleviate the awkwardness a bit. Are you asking me to dance? I might be. Professor's orders. You know. Right. You step onto the dance floor and James puts his hand on your waist. You clasp your hands behind his neck and smile up at him. Hey, James. You can stand closer if you want. Ready to get this over with? I mean, we really haven't been like, Caitlin, hey! So, I mean, eh, a little flirty. Sure, why not? Wow, show a little enthusiasm. I could still change my mind. James pulls you closer, a wry smiling, tuggling at the corner of his mouth. I kind of don't think you will. James gracefully leads you across the dance floor. You know, you're kind of good at this. Thanks. I have some experience. My parents used to drag me to charity balls and formal events all the time, and dancing was always required. Wow, sounds fancy. More like incredibly dull, but at least I picked up a trick or two. He lifts your hand, leading you into an artful turn. Very nice. Wait right here. I'm gonna go get us some drinks. What a gentleman. As James walks off towards the beverage table, you spot a familiar face through the crowd. Sebastian? No, I'm kidding. No, no we're not there yet. Uh, it's Sebastian 2.0. How about that? Chris. Abby leans over and whispers to you. Wow, Chris isn't exactly my type, but he definitely knows how to wear a suit. Yeah, but I'm over him. Eh, it's just the same old candy bar in a different wrapper. I guess you have a point. Just then, James returns with your drinks, and you stand on the edge of the floor, trying not to look at Chris too much. Really? I mean, if you're not into someone and he's just a dorm member, move on. Mega pushes through the crowd and wraps an arm around Chris. Come on, Chris. I want to dance. Uh, sure. Becca drapes her arms around Chris's neck, shooting a sly look at you out of the corner of her eye. You okay, Mizumi? You kind of went away for a second. Sorry, I just... Let's dance some more. Sure, whatever you want. You and James step back onto the dance floor with Becca leaning her head on Chris's shoulder. Chest, excuse me. What should I do? Focus on being with James, rub it in Chris's face. Focus on being with James, please. I am 100% here now. Except I'm technically thinking of Caitlin. I mean, what? That is the point of this. I'm glad. Really? Sometimes I can't tell when you're being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic, I promise. Sure. Um, not. Seriously. I guess you have just one of those faces. What's wrong with my face? You are dance. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. What should I do? Focus on James, or focus on dancing. Kiss James. Focus on dancing. You smile up at James, swing together in time with the music. Just then, Chris steps through the crowd, his expression unreadable, and touches your elbow gently. 
James, can I borrow Mizumi for a second? Why are you asking me? She's an adult. She can make her own decisions. Thanks, James, but I'm sure Chris didn't mean it like that. I'll make this fast. I'll go check on Abby. If you need anything, just let me know, okay? Okay. You turn to Chris as James sets off across the dance floor. So, what did you want to talk about? There are just some things I want wanted to explain, but not here. <sighs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of the reasons why we're doing a Caitlyn and <laughs> Shit! Okay. Chris looks taken aback, then regains his composure. Are... Are you sure? Yes, Chris. I'm sure. Fine, that's fair. I just... I, I wish things had been different, that's all. We'll see you around, Mizumi. In about 20 minutes at the dorm. <laughs> really? Yeah. See you. You watch Chris walk away from you and return to Becca's side, and a heavy weight settles over your heart. No, it doesn't! When did things get so complicated? You lean against the wall and take a deep breath, and then pull out your phone to dial Zach. Hey, Mizumi, what's up? How's your fancy ball going? Not so great, Zach. Not so great. What's wrong? This going back and forth, come on. Uh, just stuff with Chris, I guess. Well, you know I'd be happy to, to talk boy drama with you, but isn't Caitlin there? I'm sure she'd just know what to say to cheer you up. You know what? I think you're right about that. I'll see if I can find out where she disappeared to. Go for it! Just make sure to fill me in when you get back! Will do. We should pan back to Jack. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye! B uh, then pan back. Really? You head back inside and search the cap of ball for Caitlin, finally spotting her leaning against the banister. A wave of relief washes over you as you speed walk over to her. Huh? Why does she look so sad? No! <laughs> Insert Darth Vader, no! <sighs> it was nice being able to get back to ground um, after the drama yesterday where I would have been working on this shit. Instead of spending 14 plus hours dealing with asshats that stole my content. So if you're not seeing this on a channel that right now says Locum 23, you should really report the son of a bitch and then let me know. Be greatly appreciated. But if you are seeing this on my channel, thank you for watching. I hope you're a subscriber as well. Feel free to do it, especially if you enjoy my content. Otherwise... Remember to like and share the video. You can always follow me down on my social media accounts down in the description below as well. If you want to support my channel for the low cost of a cup of coffee, feel free to do that as well. And um, until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!